Hi, so I recently went to Yoseka Stationery in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm really excited to share some of the stuff that I bought from there. Um, I love Yoseka. I've been there, I think twice now, maybe three times. Um, and like the staff are just amazing. They make really great and informative YouTube videos. I love their YouTube channel. Um, and like going there in person is such a great experience because everybody who works there just like loves pens and stationery so much. <laughs> um, and it was just so much fun to be in there. I, I like couldn't, you couldn't get me to leave, honestly. It was so fun. So um, I wanted to do like a rundown of things that I bought in the store and then I'm really, really excited to start using. Um, I'll start with maybe like the smallest thing. Um, it's these like classic -y, um little like sticker dots. Um, I love classic -y. like their products are just so beautiful. Um, I have some of their like washi tape. They're, it's just like their aesthetic is like really pleasing to me. <laughs> it's always like vintage and they use a lot of letter press and um, you can tell that like they really are passionate about stationery and making like really beautiful products. I mean, even like the packaging that this comes in is like a vellum envelope and I think I'm gonna keep it and maybe use it later on for something else. But um, yeah, these are just so cute. And they're like little stickers. Um, and I'm gonna use them in collaging, I think. So really excited about it. Can't wait to start using it. Um, then I have new ink and I can't wait to talk about it. So um, I'm gonna swatch these two, I think. So I'll move this all aside. All right, so the first one, this is a full size that I purchased. It's um, from the brand J Urban, and the color is Blue Nui. <laughs> I might be butchering that pronunciation, but um, it's this like really dusty blue color. Um, when I saw it in the store, I was really, really into um, the color, and I just thought like it would make a really good um, all-purpose ink. Um, you know, kind of like, I, I felt like it would be an ink color that um, I could utilize for like work and felt professional, but that also was like a little bit more fun than just like a plain ink. Um, so I'm going to use an old Hobonichi. <laughs> I have this uh, Hobonichi from 2017 that I never used. And I'm like basically just using the pages as like scratch paper or like pre-planning paper. Um, so that way I feel like I didn't totally waste a Hobonichi A6. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Ah, I'm really excited. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I'll hold it up closer to the camera too so you can see it, but... It is so beautiful. It's this like dusty blue. It's kind of purple as well. Oh, I love this color. I love this color and it has like some gray in it too. I feel like I've been looking for like a really serene kind of color that I can use in journaling or that I could use at work. And I think this is like perfect. Um, oh my God, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about it. So. <laughs> um, the next, the next ink color that I got is a sample. Yoseka does samples and you can even order them online. Um, depending on the, the, um, ink that you choose, the sample varies in price. So they're not free samples, but you get to try an ink for only like $3, $4. So it's a really like great way of trying an ink that maybe you are, maybe a little like nervous about or you want to try a, a unique color that you maybe never thought you would use. So I picked up Sailor Ink Studio 231. These inks are like crazy. They have so many different colors um, and they're all so beautiful. Let's see if I can get this open. Um, they're all so pretty and I thought like it'd be kind of fun to try magenta because I don't have any like pink inks um and because we're heading into like the holiday season i thought it'd be kind of fun to try something that i don't know was like a little more fun and festive <gasps> i love this <laughs> oh my god it's so pretty and those two colors together are just like gorgeous 
Let me bring this closer too so you can see it. Oh my goodness. And I feel like maybe the camera isn't doing it justice because it is a lot brighter in person. Um, it is so pretty and it like, I like the shadowing effect that it gives. It's like not all, um, it has shading, sorry. It has a shading effect to it. Whereas the J Urban is a pretty like flat ink. This one has a little bit more variation. So I bet you're gonna get like really pretty lines when you're writing with that ink. Oh, I'm really excited about both of these colors. I don't know what I'm gonna ink up my new pen with. I have no idea. I'm gonna have to like think about it for a while. <laughs> Um, so yeah, those are my new inks and I cannot wait to use them. I might buy a full bottle of this, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to see, but it's so pretty. Okay. All right. So <laughs> let's move on to the pen that I'm really excited about. <laughs> um, so this is a Koweko pen. It is my first ever Koweko pen. Um, if you're not familiar with Koweko, they are a, I believe a German brand um, and they make fountain pens. Like I believe at first they were making like predominantly like school pens for children. Um, that's kind of what they're known for. And then um, like recently they've sort of branched out into like these really, really beautiful um, fountain pens for anyone of any age. So, um, I absolutely love this brand, like their, their branding and, and the look of their pens are just gorgeous. Um, and I have to say like, this is a pen that I have been looking for forever. And I've been looking at forever. Every time I went into a fountain pen store, I would look at this pen and then debate buying this pen and then never buy the pen. And then finally I did it. Um, and I'm really, really stoked. So I bought the, uh, let me see if I can get it out. I bought the Brass Sport, the Koweko Brass Sport. Um, it is a fountain pen entirely made of brass, <laughs> like no surprise there, but it is so beautiful. Um, I have a weakness for anything that is like brass, um, any brass related stationery. It's really weighty and it feels really nice when you use it. It feels good in the hand. Um, and I like that it is a twist, like a twist off cap. I like that it's very small when the cap is on, like it literally just fits really easily in your hand. It is not a large fountain pen. Um, and then when you untwist the cap and you post it, the pen feels just a little bit bigger so that when you're writing with it, um, it's like super balanced in your hand and you don't feel like it's as small of a pen as it actually is, which is really nice. Um, and I got the extra fine and I was talking to one of the girls in the store and she was saying that um, this pen, um, the nib on this pen is actually like a step up from the nib that is on the plastic bodied um, Kaweco Sports. So they have like, this pen is like the brass version, but they have like plastic versions as well. And you can get them in all kinds of colors. I've seen them in like olive. Um, I think that one's limited edition, but it's so pretty and that's on my list, but I knew I really wanted this pen. It's just so beautiful. And I had to buy a, a, a converter with it. Um, so that way I don't have to use cartridges in this pen. I can use fountain pen ink, like bottled ink. Um, the only downside of this so far that I've noticed is that the, um, the converter is kind of small, but I'm okay with that, especially considering the fact that I just got two really pretty inks that I'm really eager to use. So I don't mind that I'm going to have to refill this pretty often. Um, like this is especially small. I think when you compare it to like what the capacity is in like the Twisby Eco, um, even the Lamy Safari, like it's pretty small, but again, it's a small pen, so I can't really say that I mind. Um, and I can't wait to see how this is going to patina because, of course, it's not going to stay this color forever. It is going to change. Um, sort of like the brass charms on the, um, the uh, child version of book. Um, so, yeah, I'm like so, so excited to use this pen. I've had my eye on it forever. And I think it's just going to be like a really cool addition to my collection. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. That's all I got. <laughs>